So my, my um, view is, um, and I, you know, I think I've been on, on record on this, first that um, I think that the industry uh, is going to have to change overall because I think the world is changing. My argument about, I think what's happening is it, it, in terms of the transport sector and the shift, if you will, from a car-based view of economic development um, and with a kind of linear relationship between car ownership and, and GDP per capita and, and, and then that feeds into a, a relationship in terms of, of, of you know, demand for oil, right? I think all of that's breaking down. Um, so these, so the, the big oil and gas companies will have to change in, in the context of, of profound shifts on the supply side with some of the new technologies coming in there and profound shifts on the, on, on, on the, on the demand side. So, so let's set the conversation about you know, their strategies on two degrees in the context of the bigger picture. Um, so that's kind of my first observation. Um, the, the second thing I, I'd say is that these are companies that are extraordinary um, reservoirs, if I can use that term, of, of engineering expertise. Um, so um, I think we will want um, that capacity in our lives. Um, and the question is, how does, it get ev how does it evolve? How does it in some way get repurposed? You know, to the extent that, that as a society, we choose to continue making use of fossil fuels in one form or another, and we may well do. I right? don't rule it out because that's. I think um, uh, it's 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 not naive, but it is. It's ruling out one of the quite plausible pathways, including a pathway that was put on the table by the IPCC. Uh, the IPCC says we will need carbon capture and storage if we're going to have any hope of a two degree world. We will need it, you know, combined with with bioenergy, right? The whole Bex thing. Now, you know, you and I can disagree, agree or disagree, right? Um, whether that's a plausible pathway, right? It sounds kind of pretty uh, stretchy to me, but but nonetheless, it's it's in the range of what's been described by you know the world's authoritative scientific body on this topic. And if we're ever going to have CCS to work and at meaningful scale, we would better have a, a fossil fuel industry that is part of that solution. Um, so I'm, I'm in the camp which is um, looking to um, challenge these guys about the nature of energy transitions, challenge them on, on how they see being part of the solution, um, and, um, you know, but essentially um, looking to think through with them Right. How is it that they are going to evolve over the next 10, 15 years um, to, to be you know, a part of, quote unquote, the new climate economy? Because they don't, if they don't change, right, um, they will, I think, um, uh, be put out of business, but, but for reasons other than, if you will, uh, just to do with climate policy.